up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars action figure review on the Metacom Mayfix number 16 Boba Fett. If you're trying to pick this up, you can get a big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Now, I've seen one review on this figure. I saw BugNice10 review this, and based off of that review, I didn't like the figure. But I had already ordered it, and it was already on its way from BBTS, so I was like, oh man, I don't know if I should open this. I already don't like it based off of that review, so I'm hoping my feelings change after opening it and seeing it firsthand. And we've got Star Wars at the top right over there, and on the side you can see Boba Fett right over there, and Star Wars, and on the very back you can see some product shots, some stuff written, written in Japanese, uh, and then you get their contact info all at the bottom, it says Disney right there, licensing, yeah, and then you get Boba Fett right over there, and not much more at the bottom. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Mafex Boba Fett out of the packaging, looking pretty sweet, I'm liking this figure, I think it's a very good looking piece. I like the articulation on this guy, very good articulation on this figure, and I do like the accessories even though he doesn't come with a whole lot. Uh, now in the past I've complained about this larger clip for the recent Mafex stands, but on this particular figure it actually doesn't bother me so much. I guess my biggest gripe with this piece is that there are some parts of it that have gotten fairly loose rather quickly, and that bugs me a little bit, but other than that I think it looks really good. So let's take a closer look at Boba Fett. So we don't get a ton of accessories with this Boba Fett, but we get enough to make me happy. I like that we get interchangeable hands. We get five of them over here. We get one right hand that has a trigger finger sticking out. And all five of these are painted out very nicely. And you get some nice wrinkles in there. And I think that looks really good. Very realistic looking. I really dig it a lot. Ooh, yeah, man. Looks really good. And very slight difference in the color of gray that we get over here. And then he has these two fisted hands. So he has two fisted hands and then he has two relaxed hands as well. And thankfully, Mayfix has a port system here that's very easy to use. It's not difficult porting these on and off at all. And he has his little blaster over here, which I really like a lot. We get this nice black wash over the brown. Get some nice silver bits right over there. A little touch of brown right there. Looking really good. And he does have a holster where you can put it in. You get this little strap that comes around and it just ports into that little hole that you can see right there. So you want to move that out of the way and then slide. It would help to have the light shining on it properly and then just port that right in there. So that looks really good. I'm digging that. Then lastly, he has his rifle looking awesome. Awesome! I really like this a lot, especially with all this silver paint on it. It looks like gunmetal that we're getting right over there. I'm really digging it. And he does have some nice black wash over the brown. And I'm liking this a lot. I did see in Book Nice 10's review, he did snap his. I think he broke it like around here or something. So when putting this into the gun holding hand, you want to be careful. Um, I think the system I came up with is having it point this way. So it's perpendicular to the finger. And then turn it around and there it goes. So that looks pretty nice to me. I'm pretty happy with that. Now while I really like this figure, I will say that one of my biggest complaints is that there is a couple of pieces here that have gotten loose rather quickly without me even doing really much to it. For instance, this little targeting system that he has right over here that you can just drop down like that. I think that's very cool that we have that articulation right there, but it is very loose and it got very loose like right away. So that bothers me. Just flops right over. But I do like the helmet. The helmet looks absolutely fantastic. I love the paint on this. Very, very well done. I love the little dark green over the lighter green right there. And we get this nice black glossy paint. And we have some nice details just running throughout. I don't know if that little line right there in the sculpt is intentional, but still looks really good. I'm happy with this little vents and stuff right there in the back of the helmet. I don't know exactly what that is, but it looks very cool. I'm happy with that. Even the neck has some nice wrinkles right there in his under armor. You get some coloring variation right there. Then looking at the chest plate over here, it looks really nice. So, you know, Mafex does have some really good paint. That's one thing I really like about them a lot that I think is fairly consistent with the, almost all of their action figures uh, is that they have very good paint. You know, just like around the edge right over here, you have some wear. There's a Mandalorian symbol right there. And the jetpack looks really good too. Nice green wash over the lighter green. Got some nice little detailed red bits. And then this little guy right here got loose on me. Yep, that bothers me a little bit. Just goes right, right back down. But this one's pretty safe and, you know, pretty stiff. And you even get some little vents right here at the bottom of his jetpack, looking really nice, like that. Nice sculpted detail throughout. Man, I really love that. Attention to detail always makes me happy. His little tassels right here even have some color variation in them. 
Now on the Black Series figure, uh, this little cape piece is actually made out of fabric, which I actually prefer on the Black Series figure, but this isn't bad either. It doesn't really get in the way. They made it small enough so it's not very intrusive on you know, on the articulation or anything like that. And there's the boba butt right there, not looking too bad. He has this thing going all the way right through the crotch though, so ouch, Boba Fett. Yeesh. But anyway, looking at the pockets, they look very well done. Very nice wrinkles throughout. Nice little silver bits around the knee pads right there. He has, I don't know if these are weapons or whatnot, you know, little saws and things like that. Probably little accessories and weapons that he can use. I've never seen him use that stuff though. His little spiked heel or tips right here on his boots. Looking really nice. Not much sculpted detail on the bottom right there. So again, I like the articulation. I didn't think I was going to get a whole lot of head movement out of this figure, but he can look up fairly well, so I'm not too disappointed in that. I do think the Black Series figure does look up a little bit more than that, though. And you can get the head to move down, and you do get side-to-side -side movement over here, and you do get some head pivot, which works out very nicely. He does have these shoulder joints right here, and the elbow pad or the shoulder pads are separate from the ball joints right there. So you can move them outward that much, move them all way down, rotate them forward, you get a shoulder swivel up there, and you don't get a bicep swivel even though it looks like it could be one, but that's just a strap. You get the double jointed elbows, the wrist moves side to side, they hinge up and down, and I forgot to look at this little detail which I really like a lot. I just thought that looked really cool. I really appreciate that. I think that looks pretty awesome. And then looking at this other side too, it looks really good with all that little silver paint over it. And I wanted to mention that you have this little tube right here that comes out and you just put it right back into the little hole right there and it goes in there nicely so you don't have to worry about it breaking. It's supposed to do that. But anyway, going back to the articulation, uh, he does have a diaphragm joint that turns side to side and you can pivot a little bit. Crunches forward only a little and moves back more so. And then he also has a waist joint that turns side to side and not much waist pivot. It's kind of hard to move that waist joint more than the side to side, especially because this belt moves around and everything. So it's kind of hard to tell where that moves and ends, but you can see that that's the waist joint right there and that's the belt moving right here. So they are two separate joints. So with the diaphragm joint and the waist joint all together, they only move forward that much, which isn't a whole lot, uh, but they do both move back a little bit more so. He does have these hinges right here at the hips that shift up and down. By the way, these pockets are you know fairly loose so that you can just move them out of the way. They don't hinder any leg articulation. But you can get the legs moving all the way outward. You can get them kicking all the way forward. And come on, kick all the way forward. That looks really cool. There it goes. I think that's not too bad. They move back some. You get rotation right here at the top. You get double jointed knees. Then the ankles move down. They move up. You can turn the ankle side to side. He does have great ankle pivot and he does have toe articulation. Got to measure out this Boba Fett figure. You can see to the top of his little rocket launcher over there. He's at a about six and three quarter inches tall. And then to compare this Mafex Boba Fett figure to my only other Star Wars Mafex figure in my collection, we have the Stormtrooper. And you can see these two are standing at about the same height. Now to compare this Mafex figure to the Black Series Boba Fett, you could obviously see the color differences. Now this is specifically an Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, and I always thought this was an Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett as well, but there are differences over here. Uh, this one coming with the Han Solo and Carbonite, it really made me think it was from Empire, but maybe this one could be the Return of the Jedi version because, you know, there's both Carbonite and Han Solo. Solo and Boba Fett in Return of the Jedi as well. Uh, but you could see some obvious differences over here. Uh, there's some paint details that this one actually hits that this one does not have. Like for instance, you can see that we have blue and red little dots over there. I mean, you can see it from all the way over there. This is just a flat silver for that little panel. Uh, but then some more of the, like the little rocket piece right here and some of this looks a little bit more detailed out than this one. Again, I do like having this cloth material right here more so than having this. But I don't know, I, I kind of like these darker colors. It looks a little bit more realistic to me and the articulation on this one is definitely much better. The pockets on this one, I had to do this whole thing where I had to uh, flip the whole belt around to get the legs to move up and down, but this one I don't have to do that. So I don't know. The price differences though, you know, Hasbro really did not do a bad job with their Boba Fett over here. I can't say I highly recommend this one over the Hasbro version. They're both very good. Depends on what you like. And then here's Mafex Boba Fett next to the Marvel Legends Big Time No Let Down Spider-Man. Then here's Boba Fett in a fairly dynamic pose utilizing that toe joint over there. I don't ever remember him posed like this in any of the movies, but I just thought it was cool that you can do this. You know, it's a very cool looking figure. I do like it. I can't say I highly recommend it because I still really like the Hasbro version too. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Please stick around and hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed 
already. Hit that notification bell so that you know that my videos are being uploaded. It really helps a lot. It helps with the views and everything, which helps me and helps this channel. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at JediInsider.com. And then you can buy my action figures over at ShardmasPrime.net slash store. And follow me on the social media. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. It's okay. That's crispy. But maybe this one could be the...